Okay, gentlemen, E-Type Series 1 4.2 fixed head coupe. Uh, one of my personal favorites, uh, beautiful lines. Uh, the way the, the E-Type e was designed for all you fixed head guys that uh, already know that. It was never designed as a roadster and looks best, in my opinion, as a coupe. Beautiful car. So let's look closely at our in this particular case, Series 1 upholstery kit from BAS Limited here in beautiful Palm Springs, California. Um, the Series 2 and for that matter, Series 1.5 are similar. There's some differences, some panel differences, slight changes, but for the most part, they're pretty well the same. So we're going to cover the Series 1 and um, consider that to be the same for the Series 2. Um, of course, the Series 2 differ with this panel in particular. The seats are embossed, no more cat is used, but we'll, we'll cover most of that. So this is just an overview of our kit. Uh, this is a major kit that we're offering here. This customer has gone with our, our full meal deal. He's also purchased some extra pieces that we'll look at closely. Uh, we're very proud of this fixed head coupe kit because of the completeness of the interior kit. Uh, we are renowned for our detail and completeness. Every single piece of soft material is supplied in our E-Fix Head Coupe seat, um, upholstery kit. Um, everything is pre-cut on this computer machine. Everything is CAD cut. The files have been carefully developed over the last 22 years and uh, unconditionally guaranteed to fit and to be correct to the highest show standards. We'll just take a look at the CAD file here. Here we have eFix Head Coupe 4.2 with the vinyl wheel arches. Um, you can see, recognize some shapes, center console, inner rocker covers or inner sill covers for the UK and Australia. Again, uh, some console pieces, door panels, rear side casings, rear door panels, and small covers. This is one file, uh, one of two, and uh, that's the second half. As the uh, actually, there's three by the look of it, because uh, there's the cant rails to cut as well. Anyway, it gives you an idea of how it's done. Uh, we lay out the vinyl and press a button and the whole interior is cut out in about 42 seconds. So that gives us perfect accuracy to reproduce everything. All the panels are also CAD cut, and tool punched and or tool punched. Um, the, uh, some of the steel components like this upper door capping are laser cut. And we have uh, quite a few offerings within this eFix head coupe that uh, are exclusive from BAS that are not available from our competitors. Uh, we'll look at a couple of these in detail, but uh, first I want to just give an overview. Um, it's important to note, as I said, that um, if it's a complete panel, uh, if it's a panel rather, it's supplied as a complete panel to replace your originals, including every single panel. This is aluminum, steel, ABS, um, fiberboard, so on. If it's a cover, even the very smallest covers are supplied. And the great thing about our kit that really helps the home restorer and all the professional. Uh, so if you take if you taken this upholstery kit to a shop to have them install, the thing that we and our customers most like is these labels. Some of them are straightforward. Each one of these pieces that you see here will have its own bag and be carefully packed and a label will be applied to the plastic bag. Now it does two things. It checks that uh, my shipping department has got it right and we have all the components within. But it also um, allows the uh, installer to know what the pieces are and with that where they go, saving a lot of time and hassle. This one's straightforward. It says door panels. They're going to go on that, on that, uh, as if you didn't know. But some of them are more 
um, detailed. The wheel arch covers, if, if there's a piece, a rectangle, you have six, 11 by six for the uh, petrol plate covers or fuel, fuel covers. They're supplied and in the bag. And very often we include the foam that is underneath these pieces. And so straightforward things, carpet, under felt set, so on. Um, and then the hard euros, but other things are a little more complicated, especially when we get to things like the center console. So it tells you exactly what each piece is and uh, eliminates um, a lot of hassles. So you can see some of the uh, details for the wheel arch. We're gonna look at that, sorry, the uh, center console. We're gonna look at that center console very carefully because there are lots of components. Um, so door rebate closing panel, stock aluminum panels, vinyl trimmed. Um, so everything, everything is detailed here. Um, as I said, particularly useful for the vinyl, uh, for the rectangular pieces. Rear parcel area reach and kit, 33 by 30, 33 by 16, 43 by 16. That, that allows you to identify the rectangles down the end of the, of the Gerber machine here. And um, that gets you, um, get you uh, in the right direction. Um, the guys are still working on this particular order. I've just laid out, uh, it's about 90% complete. There's a few things we're pulling together for the final packing and inspection. So we'll look at those uh, carefully and uh, in detail uh, in some uh, later videos here. So the content of our eFixed Head Coupe kit is on our webpage. We've, we don't play a shell game with content. Everything that's on the list is in the kit. If it's not on the list, it's not on the kit not in the kit that doesn't mean that there isn't things that are available from us as extras there's lots of things we could fill the table with extra bits and pieces that we have for the e-types but um one of the common uh, one of the common pieces that uh, people like to add in is this pinch weld weld um u-shaped snap-on for the six heads um i'm just trying to remember now if the glove box is not included in the kit so this is an extra and again this is our made we make these in house this is a flocked exactly as original as fibers that stand on end riveted fiber board so that's an extra you can get from us the headliner kit is included in both the standard and major kit but the complete sun visors are not and it's a very good idea to go with our replacement sun visors the original fixed head sun visors are made of a very soft foam if you guys have them and you pull against it you'll see how uh, raggedy and dull those uh, those foams that were at one time uh, had substance and body are now just like rags the foam disintegrates the the metal seizes in the in the frame and and um so these replacement are made in a, we make these in a Modern urethane is a very dense hard foam and uh, we recover them in the wool cloth with or without the vanity mirror as required, brand new mirror and you can see how beautiful they turn out. This is a grey even though in this particular order the customer went with the fawn headliner. Uh, it's common for certain colours, reds in particular, the, to be both from the factory, grey and fawn. You, you specify, we send you samples and you can have whatever you wish. I, I want to sort of show the sun visors in this and we'll go back to look at the um, the headliner kit at a, in another episode. Okay, we're looking at some of the panels in the fixed head coupe kit here. Just before we get into this, I just wanted to point out um, one, uh, one of the advantages with the seats is that we have guaranteed flat rates, so you know exactly where you're at as far as cost. We can give you a firm quote. We know how, how much time it takes to do a good job on the seat covers and we're happy to quote you uh, the rate for the seats and the center console. Um, the rest of the components have to be fitted on the car. Of course, you're welcome to bring the car to us, but um, at the very least, uh, you should entrust uh, your seat, seats to us. Uh, so we're looking at the panels here. These are the aluminum panels. These were originally steel on the car. We've replaced them with aluminum for long life. They're the, what we call door rebate closing panels. We have the lower side casings. 
Um, you can see how our guys do the stapling on the back. Thatcher never did it this way. Our panels look as pretty on the back as they do on the front. Uh, that's for long life. The staples really hold that vinyl through the years. Has the crease in this panel so it gets bent and it gets put onto the car. Uh, we have these upper side casings. They, they need to be bent as we upholster them so they're ready in position. A little bit of reinforcing here. It's a weak spot in the panel. And again, a bend down this way. Piping's installed, ready to install. So of course, those panels are included. Our major kit includes brand new, fully upholstered upper door cappings. The standard kit includes the covers for these door cappings. It's one of the differences. Uh, the great advantage of, of having us do it, it's a tricky little panel to cover. And it's certainly a tricky panel to cover well. Uh, well I see a lot of them messed up at the shows. But uh, you can see the guys have done a great job with this one. This, the Landau, uh, well, it's actually a closed cell foam and a poly foam that we use underneath here. Again, if it was a standard kit, you would receive the shaped pieces of vinyl and the two types of foam that are required. Then you have to recover your old ones. Uh, that is also something, if they're in good condition, that you could send to us and we could recover for you. Um, we've done that in the past. So there's some panels and uh, again the covers. Here is the cover for the lower bulkhead in this particular case, Mocat. Uh, 4.2's wheel arches, they have the foam backed vinyl. They, they're piped and uh, as you can tell the shape here, a pair of those, they're sewn ready, they're oversized, appropriately oversized. And we offer unlimited tech support, we, we want the rest of it to turn out as good as it possibly can, it reflects badly on, on our product when it's poorly installed. We have little control over, over these things, but we're happy to share our knowledge. For instance, a common mistake is to glue those covers onto the steel wheel arch. And that's not how they were done. They were glued around the extremities and across the top, which spilled up onto the body, and the rest is stretched over the steel. Not entirely obvious to the layperson, and sometimes not entirely obvious to upholstery shops. We've seen uh, people make a real mess of these. There's the covers that come in the bag for the fuel filler. Those pieces you'll recognize over there as the cant rail covers. Those are the two big steel um, pieces that, uh, got, got, that go around the upper window glass. Um, again, even the smallest pieces are included in that. Here we have the covers for the um, door lock plate. I recognize these as the covers that are used to cover the Series 1 armrest. We also supply the Series can supply brand new series one armrest uh, they're an extra to the kit we'll be looking at some other extras down there in a, in a few minutes um, but um, again the, the standard major kit for the inner rockers another exclusive here from BAS is this closed cell Landau foam to replace the original poly foam that was used by the factory we use poly foam in lots of places and it works very well but we found for the much better results with this closed cell Landau. It, it, it allows uh, for a real smooth finish on those inner rockers. And uh, the closed cell allows for, you can push in uh, as hard as you want. You'll never get your fingerprints pressed into the foam, which is one of the disadvantages of polyfoam. Here is uh, an example of the polyfoam eighth inch. Again, suitable for some things. This is the center console kit. The panel boards are included, they're fully upholstered. This isn't finished yet, so we'll leave that. And we'll come back to it when it's a little further along. And again, the pieces that are shaped for the rear storage area, you'll recognize some of these pieces, the big steel um, front of the cubby, that one I recognize that. I think this is the one for, the, for that uh, wooden cover. And, and again, the, the main wooden pieces for the rear are supplied we also supply the polyfoam that goes underneath these pieces and the polyfoam that goes under the cantrails. So, um, 
again, the completeness of our kit includes uh, lots of things, right down to the, to the specialty screws that hold the panels, the snaps for the carpet set, um, fixing snaps for the new panels, um, clips I should say. And again, they'll come, they'll come, uh, yeah. So there's the, the screws, the carpet studs, fixing panels, door fixing uh, snaps. Now we do include on the doors, while well, we're talking doors here, these factory original parts that are necessary to receive the chrome. And you can see how they're installed and supplied that way. And uh, that allows you to slip your original chrome or your replacement chrome. We, we also offer replacement chrome if anybody needs it. We stock those things. And uh, I think at that point we'll, uh, we'll leave that and uh, look at another episode at the, uh, some of the extras that came along with this order. So we'll take a look at the Hardura components. That's the rubberized felt. Exact reproduction of the original Hardura imported from the UK as the natural jute back and the PVC coated. Uh, if, if the pieces in the factory are bound, we, we bind them as original. We have a, a purpose-made sewing machine that does a beautiful job. And um, I'm about to lose battery here, so we'll leave it there and charge it up and be back with you. Okay, back to the Harduras. Take two, as they say in Hollywood. Here you go. Uh, so I was saying that we have a purpose-made binding machine does a beautiful job of binding uh, So that the corners are absolutely perfect uh, These are the under dash hardware is often missing <coughs> in original fix heads a post hardware with a hole for the pull for the hood release bonnet release under seat hardware and the hardware for the rear storage there um, so the hard are, are obviously included. Uh, one of the most significant components of the interior kit or any of our interior kits are the leather seat covers. I just want to point out of this, this, this moment that uh, our leather is the very best leather available anywhere in the world, simply put. We import it from Europe. We have daily, uh, weekly, uh, air freight from London. There are lots of leathers that are less expensive that are available to us. We choose the very best. It really is the bread and butter of the of the uh, upholstery kit. We encourage you guys to compare with that with the samples that we send with that of our competitors, and I'm sure you'll see the difference. This is full auto hide, 1.1 to 1.3 millimeters thick, uh, perfectly color matched to the vinyl. Um, uh, most of the leather is hand cut so that care can be taken to color and grain match uh, and, and uh, reduce uh, scarring. Uh, one of the hallmarks of our seat covers are the dead straight pleats that are sewn in. Now, seat covers never look good laying on the bench like this. It's not until they're actually on the seats that they really come to life. Um, but you can see here the, the mocat, which is short and bolt cloth on the back. And a very high quality scrim foam, which uh, will make these seat covers last a lot longer than the originals. So we're, we're very proud of that. Um, and the patterns are absolutely perfect. They fit the seat frames like a glove. We'll look at uh, some of the foam components here that go along with that seat. We make our own composite foam, polyfoam, for the rear back, for the backrest. Uh, doesn't look like much, doesn't look like it would do the job, but this replaces the horsehair. We get great results with it. If you want to see what that looks like, you'll see it on our webpage. And some finished photographs. All the seats you see in there are those foams for the backrest. And of course, our famous molded foams for the cushions. These are urethane, modern urethane foam, 25 year life foam. They're our own product from our own tooling comes with the BAS stamp on the bottom. Um, of course, the, the E types are handed left and right. They make for a very comfortable seat, um, doing away with the original Dunlop pillow, which is no longer available. 
and even if it was you wouldn't want it it's 50 year old technology this is a modern urethane foam 25 year life foam and uh, it's extremely comfortable they fit the seat covers like a glove and uh, that's what we use for the cushion portion of the seat uh, they they're no good if they're not held up and you can see here our seat diaphragms again 4.2 they come with the brass inserts, the hooks installed. Essential that the seats are rebuilt with the uh, seat diaphragms. Uh, while we're talking about rebuilding seats, I do want to point out that we offer um, labor uh, services here where you can send us your seat frames. We'll look at a couple of these in a later video. You can see the condition that, that we receive the seat frames in typically. We completely refurbish them, or you can prepare them yourself as you wish. Um, the seat frames, you know, need to be painted and cleaned, and and uh, we don't rebuild over old, uh, poorly, uh, you know, poor quality seat frames. They need to be in good condition. We replace the lumbar support and the tack strips and other things as necessary. Now, the advantage of having us and and. Uh, uh, our top guys here install the seat covers for you is that well let's face it it's the focal point of the car if the seats are right everything's right I'll, I'll also add to that the center console and the fix heads when you look in all you see is the seats and center console if they're right everything's right if they're wrong you spoil the whole interior now I'm not trying to terrorize you there are some good shops out there with experience that do a good job but they're also dependent on where you live. Lots of people that have no upholstery shops have no experience. And then you're experimenting with expensive seat covers. And, and frankly, you're just not going to get the results that we get. So one of the advantages of sending us these pieces is that you, what you get in are the guaranteed results of the photographs that you see on the web page. And that we'll look at in a later video here so you can see exactly how they turn out. So I think that covers the seats and I'll, we'll have a little break and look at some of the other covers. e fix -Ed Coupe Series 1 and 2. Uh, looking at the panels here, inclusions in our upholstery kit, standard and major kit. Uh, both include all of these panels for the rear hatch door. Of course the main door panel itself. Um, it has the flap on the top that gets glued into the window frame. It has the small panel here that also gets glued into the window frame. And that's, that's how Jaguar did it. The panel below the rear door, which is an aluminum panel, foam on the one side, has flap and glues down onto the body. Again, that's how, um, that's how uh, Jaguar did it. And um, and the most important and exclusive from BAS, and that is this ABS plastic replacement for the factory original paper mache that the um, factory used. You can see again the flap at the at the uh, at the bottom here. Um, the original paper mache molded fiberboard is very often uh, destroyed when it's removed so we really don't know how our competitors manage with this um, they give you just a piece of vinyl and, and good luck it, it just doesn't work so we've tooled up and we made this ABS reproduction that eliminates the need for the fiberboard it comes fully upholstered ready to fit on the car and all of course that vinyl gets glued down onto the frame and trimmed back when it's done. So that's a good overview of the panels for the rear hatch. Okay, E-Type Fixed Head Coupe Series 1. We're looking at Series 1 carver sets. Series 2 is very similar. But this is a different shape on the Series 2. That's the only difference. Wilton Wool Carpet, 100% wool. Imported from the UK. We have 13 colors to choose from. Exact original spec for Jaguar with the rubber back in. Um, this is a very high quality carpet, the best available. Um, we bind everything as original, same like you saw with the hard jurors. Corners are beautiful. 
and uh, some pieces are bound fully and some are not. Uh, it has the store for keel pad in the center for the cup, cup floors. And um, this is one thing that separates this Series 1 from Series 2 is this. Uh, there's a Hardura, scrap Hardura, the factory used. And um, that's used as an insulator. Uh, and it so happens that uh, we just received a whole interior that a uh, customer sent to us. And lo and behold, unoriginal. Um, looking pretty ratty. But uh, then again, it was born in 1962, the same as me. So I was, I'm looking pretty ratty at this point as well. So there you go. Um, that's how they did it. Scrap hardware on the back. Not ever color matched, although it is in this particular case. Um, and uh, that's the original piece um, for reference. Our carpet set is computer cut. Uh, so it's patterns have been perfected over 22 years. So obviously bread and butter of our business E-types, they fit like a glove. The uh, standard and major kit come with an underfelt set. Again, computer cut ready to fit into the car. That's included. And we include the correct carpet snaps that are often missing, males and females. Um, and as I pointed out before, the hardware for the panel fixings and the screws are included in the kit. Specialty clips from the UK, stainless steel, number four screws. So again, attention to detail and completeness. I think it's a pretty good overview of the carpet set. E Fixed Coupe Series 1, in this particular case, Series 1 and 2, for the purpose of the video. Uh, center console retrim kit. Again, we're very proud of this. The details uh, really uh, separate us, including even this chrome finisher that you guys will recognize around the shifter dome. Every piece you need to rebuild the center console as you see on our webpage, right here, provided to you. Not the particularly easy thing to do from this point on. Uh, and a lot of people send us the consoles for perfect results. So, as with the other things, we have the labels here that give a real detailed description of what. This is all coming in one bag and this separate, this is how you can figure out what, which piece is which. This is the, the piece that goes around the main box section. These are the side pieces. We even include the cut polyfoam, so your, your installers will love that. They don't have to mess around trying to find this eighth inch foam, which is very difficult to find, and have to cut, cut it. You just rip the old stuff off, and it's all cut perfectly to size with the computer machine, as it is here. Some pieces of, on the console are leather, some pieces of vinyl. This is leather, of course. That's what we call the ski slope, you'll recognize it. There's the shifter, the chrome finisher, or the fake chrome finisher that goes around it. That's that. That's the cover that's used to cover the shift dome. They were originally done in an unsupported PVC vacuum formed. Nobody in the business has the equipment to do that. Uh, so we recommend it gets done in, in this Ambler stretch material and that is a good pattern to accomplish that uh, shape, to get, uh, to get that covered with the uh, regular shape that the shift dome is. We include the piping, again, all pre uh, handmade because you need the extra tail, it's not stock piping. Leather shifter boot. Uh, leather for the dash fascia and the foam that goes underneath it. Again, amply oversized. The dash fascia is much smaller, but we're generous with the, our allowance of leather and any other material. Um, the even the panels that go within the console that goes on the lid, and that one goes on the bottom. So you just chunk your old ones and put the new ones in. The leather sewn cover with the vinyl skirt as original with a nice join in the piping at the back as original and even the polyfoam that's within the armrest itself so there we have it uh, the series 2 slightly different um, shift dome and gator always in black 
Oh, I'm, my memory, really stretching my memory here. Let me think what else is different. No leather covered radio fascia. We have the molded ABS plastic, um, uh, actually PVC molded foam piece you guys will recognize with the ashtray. And I think that's it. I think the rest is the same. Okay, so a pretty good overview there. And uh, we'll leave it there. E-Type Fixed Head Coupe, Series 1 and 2. Also very similar, 2 plus 2. These are the, they're a different shape for the 2 plus 2, but essentially the same technique is used. These are the uh, hinge covers and the lock cover. We have, as an extra in this order, the covers to recover these. These were originally covered by vacuum-formed ABS, or actually vacuum-formed unsupported PVC that was, that was uh, specially made at the factory and, and, and sucked onto these. They, they survive, uh, rarely survive in good enough condition to reuse. And this is uh, the uh, best solution for that. Um, we take uh, and we twin stitch, French stitch the, the cover so it fits. It is absolutely impossible even for us, you know, the very best in the world to get that piece of vinyl around that irregular shape without the twin needle stitch. So it is necessary. Um, not exactly as original, but it's a, it's a good solution so everything's color matched. These squares go on the inside. Uh, small ones and the bigger one on the on thing, but it uh, gives you some idea. These original covers were sent to us, and sorry, the original uh, steels were sent to us. You can do the same, and we can recover them for you. This is an extra to the kit. Uh, we also have coming quite soon uh, some reproductions that uh, were produced in the UK that are in ABS plastic with the grain embossed right in uh, as a replacement for the steels. Um, they need to be dyed to match, but it, uh, it can be a good solution. So the choice is yours. Uh, send us the steels or, or uh, purchase the, uh, the ABS plastic. But you can see how dead straight the guys have. Uh, we have a twin needle machine that does this, so it's not done with two passes. That's why it's so perfect. Uh, a special sewing machine with two needles. That's how that's done. E-Type Fixed Head Coupe, in this particular case, also similar, uh, 2 plus 2, cant rail. Uh, the 2 plus 2, a longer version than this, but uh, similar technique and construction. Very difficult piece to recover, a lot of people have trouble with this one. We supply a piece that's amply oversized, uh, and we supply the foam that goes underneath the pieces. Um, but it is a tricky one to do. You pull in up, down, across, and around at the same time. So I just wanted to show this is typical of how they come into us. Pretty poor condition. That, that will sandblast and clean up the steel. It's not too bad. We've seen worse. And it has the chrome finisher, which is difficult to reattach. Um, and if uh, the pad is in good condition, we can reuse it. If not, it has to be repaired. So I just wanted to show these as a before, and uh, we'll look at these after they're finished here by the guys. E-Fix Head Coupe, headliner kit, uh, series one and two. Uh, this applies to the two plus twos also. The same materials, different shape for the uh, longer cant rail covers, but uh, the same applies. Uh, we're very proud of this headliner kit for the fixed head coupes. We have an exclusive on this material. This is the most important part of the interior kit for the headliner. This is, we have made in the UK uh, specifically for us uh, and, and therefore is an exclusive from BAS. This is foam backed wool cloth, so it's the plain wool cloth we have it, it's cold poured onto the back of the wool cloth and it's a self skin in foam. Now this, the most important feature of this is that this is an exact reproduction of the original stuff Jaguar used 
on the fixed head 2 plus 2 headliners. In our opinion, nothing else works. They wouldn't have gone to this cost and uh, expense and hassle at Jaguar if something else could, be, could work for cheaper. A lot of our competitors use poly foam, which is an open, open cell foam. Uh, it, they then have to laminate, you then have to laminate the wool cloth to the poly foam and the poly foam to the roof of the car. It doesn't work. Firstly, when you press into polyform, you, get, you can get your fingerprints into it, there's one problem. And secondly, the polyform quickly disintegrates in the heat. This is a high heat skinned urethane foam, so it has a skin. And the great thing is, is that when it's glued into the car, you can press on this, on the wool cloth on the outside, as hard as you want, and you will not get your fingerprints in it. It also will last. So it's a very important part of the kit. In fact, we think it's the most important part of the kit. On the fixed head and the two plus twos, it's that, that headliner, if you're gonna go to all the cost and hassle of replacing it, you should find a permanent solution. And we have, so we're very proud of this. You can see it's, it's cut to shape. Um, it's it's glued and then the roof is glued it's not an easy thing to do it wasn't for jaguar i can tell you because I, I spoke to uh, a, an old boy in coventry that worked at the factory and uh and at the pub he was telling me how they did it they used a long pole like a broom handle you know long uh they offered it into the, they glued it up and they they offered it into the back of the hatch um, they didn't do it with the car upside down as some people think they then had two guys inside they had chalk marks sent to center everything at the front and on the car and then once you make contact with the glue starting in the middle that's it you cannot pull this stuff off so it's not a particularly easy thing to do we do recommend professional installation for that but that's how they did it at the factory and then this is all trimmed back and the cant rail covers as we call them these shaped pieces uh, come sewn from us with the with the rubber tube in as they were at the factory they get stuffed into the little gap that's up there that's created with a steel bracket so they come in the kit a piece of plain wool cloth here for the front header bow and in the standard kit you get the covers you uh, for the for the sun visors but you also, if you buy this as a, as a single item without the interior kit, just as a headliner kit, you get just the covers. To upgrade, you can go to these uh, sun visors that we make here. That are, they've been reproduced in a very hard, dense polyurethane foam to replace the very, <laughs> very poorly uh, designed factory uh, sun visors that that only ever lasted three years back in the 60s you'll see in your own car that they're disintegrated they break away from the uh, steel within the the sun visor commonly and they become very loose and when you because you you have to push them to activate them what happens is the steel seizes to the chrome over the years and you end up people end up snapping them across here and then the foam generally disintegrates and you'll very rarely have a sun visor in an original fixed head coupe 2 plus 2 that survives well enough, in my opinion, to be recovered. So if you take the cover and you commit that material to your old sun visors and you don't get good results, then you're, you know, you've ruined the kit. So we do recommend brand new sun visors that are, that are molded dense urethane foam not like this soft foam it's a it's a hard foam um, the steel is embedded within within and we do them with or without the vanity mirror sun visor and this this substrate and the way we do them uh, will last uh, the lifetime of the car um, and uh, it's, it's definitely an upgrade from the factory original uh, poly foam uh, sun visors so there we have it, that's the sun, uh, that's the headliner kit for the fixed head and two plus twos. And uh, again, uh, this, this part is, is an exclusive from BAS and uh, something we're very proud of. Foam backed wool cloth headliner. E-Type Series 1 and 2 dash pad. 
This is uh, exactly as original black ABS plastic. You can see the grain there. It's um, vacuum formed, comes with instructions, and uh, straight, fairly straightforward to do. Um, yes and no. <laughs> the instructions help, but it's not a particularly easy thing to do. It requires heating, and this is how it was done in the thatch as well. The ABS gets soft when it's heated. This is the molded urethane that's within the dash pad. And here we have an original dash subframe, which is, of course, aluminum with the vents. This is often how they, how they look when they're sent to us. There's the molded foam, as you can see, and the, and the plastic that's been cut by the factory. So this is kind of a before and after. We're showing this, and we'll show this when it's finished. And we offer this service here. Send us your dash, and we can fully upholster it, send it back to you. And you can see this is common at the factory, they uh, signed their names. Under dash panels with the correct grain is a package, so it's not as easy to see, but you can see it there. Three pieces included also with our standard and major kit for the fixed head coupe. Okay, E fixed head coupe. Guys, here we have the very difficult to recover cant rails. That's what uh, they're called. Steel, steel frames, pillar panels, they move over into the cant rail up above. Um, these are difficult to cover. That's why a lot of the customers uh, will send us these like this guy did. Uh, they are notoriously difficult to cover. Uh, also get in the chrome back on the edge of the uh, of the uh, piece itself is, is notoriously difficult. It, uh, it is often very difficult to do uh, with, with uh, what our competitors uh, tend to use um, am uh, uh, domestic uh, vinyls that are much thicker than the originals and the tolerances don't allow for this chrome to go back on. Um, so, uh, anyway, you can see how we do the, uh, also do the cups uh, for the um, hinges in the rear. Now, the original hinges from the factory were a completely fully molded piece. The molded piece was done with an unsupported PVC that was vacuum formed uh, with expensive tooling. Uh, none of us in the business have, have that tooling. Uh, or the ability to do that. So this is the next best thing to have a nice French twin needle stitch. Uh, does a nice job, and uh, at, when viewed from the side, um, it looks quite uh, stuck. <coughs> Again, uh, the cantrail coverings uh, uh, that um, that we do here in house when uh, you send up, send them to us. A difficult piece to pack, uh, but well worth the effort with the results you see here. E-Type Fixed Head Coupe, cant rails. We looked at them in an earlier video, and they're complete. Um, this goes for the two plus twos, they're very similar, but just longer. So this video will work for, for both. Uh, what can I say about these things? I suppose, don't try this at home, kids. Um, not an easy thing to do. We supply the vinyl oversized, shaped, uh, and I showed that in the kit, but actually installing it onto, onto these is, is a difficult task. And uh, our very best guys here uh, step forward and receive a bravery award for, for, uh, for, for doing so. Um, we reuse the customer's chrome. Uh, and uh, it's difficult to get on and off. So we do our best here, uh, getting getting it on, and uh, and and uh, you can see we got some great results with this one. All all glass bead painted, new foam, and um, now they're ready to install. So the original D, D shape is there, and then we have new foam here and and laminated over. You can see by the irregular shape you know you have to pull up down sideways uh, at the same time that's what makes it difficult so 
we're happy to do them here. Uh, if you send us can't it's a little difficult to ship, admittedly, but um, if you can get them to us, we will be uh, working our magic. You can see how beautifully these turned out. I'm sure the customer's going to be very pleased. I just thought I'd show you guys this. Ship and Palm just finished packing these uh, cant rails. They have to be packed very carefully. They did a great job here separating them. And um, they're easily damaged. So uh, I just wanted to point, uh, point out how, uh, how nicely the uh, shipping department packs this stuff on return. Just taking a look here at the finished hinge covers and uh, lock plate, lock uh, cover for the uh, you fix that coop, you can see there how a twin stitch and turned out there. And uh, again, it's uh, the only solution as the factory ones were originally uh, heat molded to the shape. Yeah, it's another example of our E Type 4.2 seat frames, this time in a very popular and attractive dark blue. You can see how the leather and vinyl match perfectly. Actually, Series 1, this is both leather. Series 2, is, this is vinyl. And you can see how perfectly the pleats are dead straight, beautifully stitched, and fitted as they should be. Uh, they look great. I'm sure the customer is going to be very happy with these. There's the moquette. It needs final cleaning from the shipping department, but you can see. Now the foams that I featured in earlier videos are used within the seats. And here we have the 4.2 console. Again, the dark blue, the vinyl matching the leather piping. You see we've got the brand new rubber for the handbrake. Uh, this is a, a rare spec. This has the uh, rubber bellows type. Uh, it was only used for one year. And of course, everything else is, uh, is vinyl as original, brand new panel boards for the inside and the lid and you can see the results you fix that coupe uh, 2 plus 2's are the same but these are the covers for the hinges and the lock um, the originals from Jaguar were unsupported PVC, which means it's not backed with a stretch material. It's PVC, but it's pure PVC. It was vacuum formed to the steel to take this irregular shape. There is no way to get regular vinyl onto these irregular shapes without the use of a top stitch. You can on this one, but then it looks weird to have this one without the top stitch and these with. So this is the best way that we have figured to do it and open suggestions from anybody else um, but you can see how it uh, takes the shape it actually looks pretty good obviously not original but it's a good look there's the console here people have trouble with this we provide the piece of vinyl there's a split down there that's where the butt joint goes so the two pieces of vinyl just butt join up against it's on the short side difficult to do but again this was covered in unsupported PVC vacuum formed that's not available and just the last thing here, this is the pinch welt. This is the herringbone pattern snap-on used on pinch welt around the doors for all the types uh, right the way through the series. Uh, they were colored from the factory, uh, but it's only black available now. You have to dye these if you uh, want to color them. So I get asked all the time, hey, Mr. Heritage, how do you get your feet so dead straight? And I say, you have to have a hundred thousand dollar computer cutter machine like this and that's how we do it this is the sew foam inside the seats this is bj8 you see how the machine is cut in the slits in the sew foam not all the way through only halfway through very difficult to do and that makes our fleets absolutely straight no hand cutting that's the secret right there another reason that separates heritage from the rest what separates BAS from lots of competitors? This does, gentlemen, check it out. Mark II Saloon, this is an automatic with an organ pedal. Uh, 
Um, it's lots of variations of this file, or a few variations. So we picked the right one for the order. This is a chocolate brown. It's a custom color in this particular case, but a nice looking color. I believe it's opalescent uh, gold or bronze the car, so it should look good. Anyway, this is uh, a demonstration of our cutter machine in use cut in this carpet set. So we've got the right file up. First thing to do, turn on the motor. That sucks the vacuum down. This carpet is being held down by this vacuum, very powerful vacuum that holds the plastic down. We then jog this into position and check to see if the carpet's straight. Come in a and we press the button. And that's it. My job is over. It uh, never fails to put a smile on my face watching this machine operate. This is the front mat, driver's side. Before this, we used to hand cut these, very time consuming, difficult work. The machine makes it uh, a lot easier, obviously. And uh, we get the ac absolute accuracy and we get best yield for material. So it's a win all, all the way the big inner sill covers, inner rocket covers. Well, look at the look at the it plotting. As it cuts, it bowls the piece. So now that becomes bold. Now it's the second sill. Slightly different shape. And when it comes to the end of this it'll become bold. Done. Cut on the next one. Rear mats. Isn't it beautiful? You can see why I like uh, like looking at this. And uh, the best thing is, it never asks for uh, lunch break. Never complains. <laughs> Perfect employee. It's also an American-made machine, made in Connecticut. A company called Gerber, beautiful machine. I'm running out of battery on the camera, so I think you may see the end of this cut, but I think you guys can get the picture from here. The gearbox sides. I'll just lift one of the pieces off that we finished with this. There's the mat. Look how this cut cut around the paddle just perfectly and then we just pick up the pieces goes to the sewing department those two little pieces they're either side on the rear seat e-type uh, 4.2 and 3.8 for that matter series one um, armrests essentially they're also used in the xk150 uh, these uh, components here that uh, are made by BAS. This is the black plastic, uh, taupe plastic, uh, the molded foam. Uh, that's, of course, cut down the middle there to form two pieces. It's a molded urethane foam, perfect reproduction of the taupe plastic. The chrome finisher, it has a protection on it. It's actually stainless steel. And then uh, the, the base themselves, there's also screws included with this. These are the components that make up the armrest. Uh, they are included in our major kit for the 150s. And I believe they're available as an option for the E-types, e uh, both Roadster and Fixed. And uh, I think that's a pretty good overview. I think I'll add uh, an episode showing these fully upholstered and put together so that you can see what they're like when they're, uh, when they're done.